It has been nearly forever since I have upgraded the database inside of my TRX-1. And being that my content lately has been avoiding this radio and most Whistler, GRE, and Radio Shack radios, let's give a little bit of love to this flagship model and update the database that's inside of it. All right, so to start, the radio is currently off and we are going to plug in the USB cable. Once the cable is plugged in, it's going to initialize and then go into standby and charging mode. At this point, the radio should be connected to the computer. I have already launched Whistler TRX software and we're gonna go up to updates and we're gonna go check for library update. This brings up a new window and we'll click on check for update. As you can see, my library is quite outdated. So let's go ahead and download the update. Once the download is complete, we're gonna click on done. And then yes, we wanna copy this to the SD card. So we're gonna click on yes. We'll pick the drive that the SD card is currently mounted as on our computer and click on continue. Another dialog box will open up and after some time, this will start to program all of the updates to the scanner. And again, this is just the database files and not any favorites lists or programming. This will take some time. So behind me here, you can see that we are very slowly incrementing on the screen. It's the bottom bar that's only at 8%. This will take time to update. It is pretty slow, but this is the process for updating the database in the TRX series radios. The process is the same for a TRX2 as it is for the TRX1 and the other scanners too that support the database from radio reference, such as the 1080 and 1088, 1095, should all be the same as well. So let me know, are you as bad as I am with updating your Whistler TRX database? Mine was a couple of years old, just to put it uh, delicately. Let me know how often you update your database. And as always, for more content like this and more helps, tips, and tricks when it comes to the scanner radio hobby, Make sure you follow this channel for more content.